Hey guys, Dr. Shelley here. If you've been considering having an organ removed, such as having your gallbladder taken out or your appendix taken out, then this video is for you. I believe that if you have an organ that's not functioning properly, that you should do everything in your power to try and heal that organ before you have it ripped out of your body, essentially. I'm gonna use this whiteboard so you can have a visual of what's in my brain. Here we go. My artistic abilities are at work right now. This is you. And I know you're way better looking than that, but this is you and this is 100% you. So you are 100% you and let's say every single organ and every system in your body is working perfectly. That would mean that you have 100% health, right? So you have 100% you, everything is working well, you're 100% healthy, okay? Let's say an organ is not working properly. And for the sake of this discussion, it doesn't even matter why that organ is not working properly. It's just not working properly and it's making you feel like crap. So you're not, you are 100% you, but you don't feel 100% well. So you go and you talk to a medical doctor and they tell you, well, if you have that organ removed, then you're gonna be healthy again. And you say, okay, because all you want is to feel good again. I mean, that's all we, all of us want is we wanna wake up every day and we wanna feel great. So you go, you trust this person and they remove your organ. In this example, I'm going to use one of your arms as the example, but let's say that your arm is your appendix or your gallbladder or part of your spleen or you know part of your intestines even, okay? So let's say you go, you say, okay, I wanna be 100% healthy again and they, take off this arm, okay? So this arm is removed, okay? A part of you is removed. And let's say that arm is 10% of you. 10% of you is now removed. It is gone, all right? So you are not 100% of you anymore. Minus 10% of you. I'm gonna do math right now. You now have 90% of you. You feel a little bit better, but you don't feel 100% better, okay? And a couple years go by and you still don't feel 100% better. And, you know, it might be a completely different symptom that you are experiencing, but you don't feel 100% well. If you are only 90% you anatomically, I believe that the optimum health for you is 90% well. And this is the part where I know that some people might disagree with this, but this is the way that I see it. This is the way that I think about this. This is why I would do anything to try and help you save an organ before you, you know, instead of having it, you know, ripped out of your body. So now you're 90% you and you're frustrated and you're confused because you wanna be 100% well again, just like you were when you had your arm and you had 100% of you, okay? And it is not an exact math and it is not an exact science, but the more you have removed, the less likely your chance to feel 100% well. I believe that Everything is in your body for a reason. I know that there's a lot of talk about you don't need your appendix. You, yes, you can live without it. You can live without your appendix, but you're not 100% you anymore. And what about your tonsils? It's Tonsils are taken out like wisdom teeth. I mean, just ripped out of your body. Oh, you're sick. Let's take your tonsils out, right? And I know that sometimes you could be so frustrated that you're just like, you know what? Get rid of it. You know, we do that in life with, with things in life. You know, if we can't handle something and something is frustrating us so much, we just get rid of it and try, instead of trying to handle the problem. I've had many patients that have come in and be like, oh, they're gonna take my uterus out. Oh, they're gonna take my ovaries. And I'm just like, well, what have you done to up until this point to try and fix this problem? And they're like, oh, you know, I, I took a couple meds and it's just not getting any better. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, you're gonna take that organ out and then you'll have no chance of it healing ever and that's a part of you like you're not going to be 100 percent you after you take that organ out so why don't we just spend a couple months 
on trying to repair the damaged organ and see if your body can fix it and you can remain 100% you and 100% well. I cannot tell you how often this happens in my practice. And I believe that the reason that we're able to help these people heal and ultimately help them save their organs is because your body as a whole is fighting for that organ. And sometimes all your body needs is, is a little bit of help. So like if there was something wrong with the arm right here and you know the medical route is just remove it, the rest of the body, your head, your other arm, everything, everything is fighting for that arm. And you know, it just needs a little bit of help sometimes. So I thought this was an interesting thing. I think, I think it's an interesting concept and I wanted to share it with you guys because, you know, if you're considering having your tonsils out or your appendix out or your, you know, sometimes people get part of their large intestines removed if they have intestinal issues, you know, just reconsider or at least wait and try something, just try anything to help that area heal before you before you go under the knife and have it ripped out of your body. If you don't know where to go for help, uh, I can help you reach out to me. I can point you in the right direction. My team and I do this all the time. And basically we're, you know, people ask, you know, what do you, what do you do? Oh, oh, we save lives, you know, even if it's a, an organ, I can say, oh, we save gallbladders. Hopefully you guys got value out of this. Um, just a little bit of insight on what's inside my brain. I hope you enjoyed this and please share it with anyone that you know who's considering surgery because you might just be the reason they decide to save their organ. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.